Welcome to the fourth and final day for this year's Laruta Maya Belize River Challenge. This is the day that will, will definitely play a big role in all the paddlers' life. Uh, we have the results here, but before we get into that, good morning to you, Harry. How are you? Good morning, Rhonda. We're up and running, fresh, and we're looking forward for day four of the Laruta Maya River Challenge. And as you notice, the crowd behind us are getting up, pumped up as they see their uh, team go into the water so they're shouting already and I think like us the crowd is ready as, as well to cheer along the way. Not only that we can look around we see people putting their canoes into the water we see people getting themselves prepared we see Nestle and uh, Nescafe out here are uh, providing hot drinks in the morning that is extremely extremely essential for us to get that hot drink first thing in the morning you know I mean me I love my good good Milo. Oh. Well, we see the teams getting in and Nestle every year they bring out that warm drink for all the paddlers. You know, when you're out here, you need to get off on a good foot. How have you been enjoying the past uh, three days? I particularly enjoy day two and day three. Um, despite the glitch yesterday morning at the start, um, it turned out to be an excellent race. I in totally enjoyed um, seeing um, some of the teams that stayed behind yesterday when the race initiated made a comeback um, in, in the, well, throughout the course of the day. And that particularly um, showed their skill, their ability, um, their motivation, and most importantly, their um, aspiring to win this, this race. Definitely. Let me move over here and uh, see if I can get a quick word in with uh, Johnny Watt from C Sport. Johnny Watt is one of the older guys in this race. He's placing second in this category, 21st overall. And if I'm not mistaken, he's trying to fix the canoe now. Johnny Watt, morning. How are you? Good morning, darling. How are you? I am good. I've been going over the stats. You're 21 overall, second in your category. I mean, how good does that feel? That feels so good because Grumpy is ahead of us. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Uh, just securing our drink uh, camelbacks right here. Just make sure it doesn't move around in the boat. And if we go over, we, can, we don't lose it. All right. Uh, what should we... Uh, do you think that you'd be able to pass Grumpy uh, today at least? Well, I hope we can get to Brooklyn before them. But uh, in the overall standings, uh, barring a disaster on their part, I think they've got it. For other guys that might be feeling, you know what, I'm a little too old to get into this race. You are in the masses. What would you say to them? You say, get off of your fat ass and come out and paddle. <laughs> All the best, Johnny Watt. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I tell you, I tell you, that's Johnny Watt there for you. You know, in this country, we don't have bleep. We can't bleep them out. Uh, you know what? That, that's, that's unique. That's, that's, that's him. When you, when, when you hear him like that, that's him. That's definitely who it is. But let's go. Oh, you know what? I have to see Michelle at the Sanchez brothers. The Sanchez, actually the Sanchez family. The Sanchez family has been in this race a very long time. Generally, they paddle under the family division. But today they're paddling in the intramural or pleasure. Good morning, Mr. Sanchez. How are you? Not too bad at all, ma'am. Not too bad at all. Ready? Tell us a little bit about your team. Well, it's me and my um, two sons, David and Michael. Uh, we've been at it now for 12 years. Why did you move from family? Because you are a family to pleasure. I'm um, the family thing. As I understand it, it's two days. And you can't do La Ruta Mai if you don't paddle four days. There you go. So you wanted to do four days. Yes, definitely. Excellent. Michael Manning, welcome home. How did you go? All is well. All is well. Surviving. Um, you, this is the only time you come to Belize? The only time I hear you come to Belize now? Well, no, no, no. I come, I come in the summertime, but I have to come for this one. You know, I have to come for the Ruta Maya. How have you been enjoying it? It's been a pleasure. Every year it gets a little easier, so... <laughs> That's the only time I exercise. <laughs> Where are you placing at this point in time overall? I believe we're 47th or 48th, I believe. Do you think you can make better time today? Uh, today will definitely be a, 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 a faster, faster pace because it's a shorter distance. So you are in 48th position. Yes, yeah, I believe it was 47, 48. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, good work and we hope to see you at the end today. Thank you very much. All right, uh, let's go over the standings. Uh, hurry. Um, well, if you notice, um, the first still in first place by way over four minutes um, um, over the second place is at 14 hours, 45 minutes, 50 seconds is um, Belize, Belize Bank. But, um, they are still in first place. Um, second place is Niche, who is at 14 minutes, 51 seconds, 14 hours, sorry, 51 second, um, minutes, 38 seconds. And Right behind, um, shortly behind is BTL Cubs Arm, and they are at 14 hours, 
56 minutes 25 seconds so um, if you notice um, there is quite um, some time in between these three top um, teams um, and, and, and you could see the, 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 the difference the time differences between three and four minutes in between each in between each one of them so we can see that if Belize Bank pulls off a good a good start this morning they definitely um, can declare itself the winner um, of this of this four days challenge. Whatever boys must not go unnoticed. Whatever boys is in fourth place overall, first in their category. These guys are doing awesome. West Track Bay are in uh, fourth place uh, in the Masters and fifth place overall. Joseph and Taylor they are in fifth in the Masters category. In the, sorry. In the male category, let me say that again. West Track is fifth in the male cat, fourth in the male category. Joseph and Taylor is fifth in the male cap category. Happy Cow Cheese and Nacious, they are second in their category. They are in the intramural and they're second in their category and seventh overall. Black Orchid Resort is eighth overall and first in the category of mix. Belize Coast Guard, they are. Second in their category and ninth overall. So you see, all of these teams are doing extremely well. The mixed team, the first mixed team, came in in eighth position overall. They're first in their category. That's the team for Black Orchid. We have a few more minutes before the race kicks off. We're going to take it back to studios, pay some bills, and we will be back. <laughs> 